Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today's video, I am going to be testing out the Batiste Waterless Cleansing Foam No Rinse Shampoo Mousse. Uh, that's a mouthful. Um, okay, so this is my starting, starting hair. I haven't washed my hair in about like three days. Uh, so I thought that maybe it'd be good, um, good time to give this a go. I do have dry shampoo in my hair from this morning. Um, it could use some more, uh, frankly. So I am under the impression that this is a dry shampoo and a foam. I could be completely wrong about that. So let's read this together because I just was like, ooh, intriguing. Bye for video. You know, so yes, this is, again, let me repeat this. Batiste No Rinse Shampoo Waterless Cleansing Foam Instant Hair Refresh Dries in 60 Seconds cleanse and hydrates with cactus water normal to dry hair okay amazing there was two different kinds i chose the cactus one the other option was coconut um i don't like coconut this says let me see it's a little bit small didn't believe it was possible to have fabulous clean fresh feeling hair without stepping in the shower <laughs> yes yeah that's absolutely yeah okay well now you can our lightweight foam formula instantly refreshes hair all over dries in 60 seconds and leaves no residue hydrating formula leaves hair feeling soft paraben free phthalate sulfate and dye free so just for reference one two three the fourth ingredient in here is alcohol uh, so drying e I don't know maybe step one shake well step two turn can upside down and apply foam directly into hand massage into dry hair until absorbed and repeat as required step four voila instantly refreshed hair that dries in 60 seconds so this actually says nothing about absorbing oil My hair is so flat like I <laughs> all right let's shake it up <gasps> oh my god okay I don't know what to do it's fine I'm just gonna work it in fully okay I'm gonna use a little bit more for the back area so when you kind of put it in the hand it like puffs up more than you put on you know what i mean see that hopefully and we'll use this for like the back area and then yeah i think we'll just keep working this in until it's dry so i just kind of like parted my hair because i just wanted to get like a closer view my nose oh my god it's so big okay i just wanted to kind of like show can we see some grease over here so there's some grease again it said nothing about um controlling oil or absorbing oil I'm just curious because I feel like that's the whole reason why I personally wash my hair is because it's greasy as fuck and it needs to be washed you know what I mean so I just want to see like I just it smells really nice um it definitely has like a refreshing factor to it like I did just kind of like wash my hair scent wise but is it stopping there is my question you know what i mean okay so let me just is this still greasy i can't see 
I mean, yeah, like from what I can tell, it does look like it absorbed. Can can you see? I don't know. Um, it does look like it did absorb some of the oil. So I'm intrigued. I won't lie. I'm intrigued because I honestly have a very big problem with actual dry shampoo because I find that I have to use the whole can um, for it to like actually absorb oil and I think uh, maybe I'm just using it poorly in the sense of I'm using it when my hair is incredibly greasy rather than using a little bit a day to kind of like maintain the oil. The reason why I don't do that is because I've had problems with my scalp getting itchy. I'll link that over here. All right, so that's my little tiny first impression review on this. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I'll catch you in my next video whenever. Toodles.